Yeah, which is why it's great when we get like a production like Free Ren, which is a fucking banger anime and mm. has had like- I mean, just watch it. It's so good. It's it's also- it's so I good. see a lot of porn of it. Is that, <laughs> why do I see that on Twitter? It's, I, I, I noticed this as well. I, I was gonna talk about this because I remember re I remember reading the uh, manga and hey, it was I like- I thought my Twitter feed was weird. <laughs> I haven't seen any of that shit. It was, it was- But I'm not surprised. The only, the only stuff I've seen of Free Ren is porn. Really? <laughs> yeah. Which means that it's either like an amazing, uh, amazing show or a dog send shit links, show. Please. Okay, so so here's here's the weird thing. Okay, so um, as like a manga reader, free run. I remember reading the manga. It's a very like touching, emotional yeah. show, right? Yeah, and it's. Its characters are definitely not like, let's say, the fan service type. Okay, that's okay. Good. Like mm. a lot of like, I like that. Yeah, you know, all of like basically all of the girls in there are, you know, they are very, very. I can't think of. I can't even think of a scene where they are like even showing a lot of skin. Are like a lot of clothes they wear, like cover all of their bodies. Mm. Can't really see their proportions. Well, it doesn't. The, the story and the vibe of the whole show doesn't really incite any of that and, kind of like mentality in any way. Yeah, the viewer, and the right? story of the vibe as well, because like it's they're a very, really fucking squeezing this shit it's, out. It's it's a very like emotional touching yeah. tale. So what Free Ren has proved to me is that. <laughs> It don't fucking matter about the vibe at all. If people want to loot someone, they're, the internet are going to fucking do it. All it takes Whether- is one artist to be like, this is a wholesome <laughs> show, but that yeah. character's hot. Well, it's yeah. like, I, I didn't think the fish girl was hot in Zelda, but I saw a lot of porn of the fish girl. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I thought she was hot. I'm sorry. I'm, hey, I'm just being honest. Attractive. I'm just being honest. But yeah. like, yeah, it is, it is kind of a weird phenomenon because we haven't really seen examples of similar vibe show. Like that's kind of like people, you know, looting Spice and Wolf, which no one really did because this, because, well, I mean, I didn't see it because like, it, and it's not, because it's such a- sure Someone definitely that, looted Spice and Wolf. I mean, the okay. only one who looted Spice and Wolf was Hasekura himself from making Holo just naked for a lot of the that's, show. That's like, the thing. Do, do, do you know what's weird? Sometimes now I see if there is like a fan service show, yeah. I never see any like loot fan art of it, right? Mm. You know what I mean? Now it's just like the anti-fan service shows. Those artists are like playing the reverse. Game yeah, yeah, right yeah, now. yeah, yeah. They are, they are. Uh. And I feel like, I don't know. They're, they're <laughs> I, I feel like with Free Rent, there was this one scene in the latest episode where I, okay. There, there, there was like one, I think, horny bait scene, but it was mm. just like, compared to other horny bait scenes, it was like very, very tame. Um, it was when Free Ren, like there was a shot where Free Ren had her feet just like showing. <laughs> <laughs> and the artists are like, yo, it's free real estate. Let's go. Show feet, show feet. <laughs> she showed her feet, let's go. <laughs> Let me see her feet. <laughs> Why do people like Fuck feet sake. so much? What's huh? the deal with feet? I don't get it. I wish I, wish I could understand. Isn't it the most common fetish though in the world or uh, something? I don't know. I think I remember seeing something that where it's like- bastard. Oh my God. <laughs> don't don't put words in my mouth, guys. <laughs> uh, I wish I got it. I wish I got it, but I, I just so I could understand the mind. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think I read somewhere that like feet fetishes are, yeah. I think feet fetishes oh. are the most common fetish. It's it's called so the technical term is called podophilia. Oh my lord! Which, they really they the, really shouldn't the, have. The, the, Why did they? Have? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm a podophile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a potter. Yeah, I can't imagine that one caught on with the, yeah. with the feet enjoyers. <laughs> mm. Navel fetishes, body piercings, <laughs> tattoos, gerontophilia. <laughs> Uh, underwear, hair, color. Oh, the intense sexual attraction that younger men and women feel for older men and women can qualify as a fetish. Oh, cradle snatching. All oh. right. Oh, oh. Okay. cradle snatching. <laughs> <Cradle snatch. laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, feet is like the most common. Yeah, feet's the most common. I, yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, I'm personally not into it, but th- there could be worse things you're into. What counts as a fetish? Like uh, what's, what's anything that if, you get if like you get, sexual? If you get bricked up. Yeah, if you get bricked up. So his boobs are fetish. Well, I think cause it's like- No, that's just an instinct. But the, the, that's that's the thing, right? What, what counts as a fetish? A f- well, it's, I think, it's boobs, some, I think boobs and ass could technically be a fetish, yeah. but they're so commonplace that we wouldn't consider I think them a fetish. I think a fetish is something- fetish Unusual. Yeah, I yeah. think fetish is something where the, the, the layman will look at it and be like, I don't really feel anything to, but then there'll be someone else who'd be like, nah, that's hot. Gratification is strongly linked to a particular object or activity yeah. of a body. It needs to be part. something super specific. Other right? than a sexual, other than the sexual organs. 
So does thighs count as a fetish? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's a, that's a fetish. Uh, number two, an, in, in, an inanimate object worshipped for its supposed magic powers or because it's considered to be inhabited by a spirit. I've never heard of this definition what? No, of a I, fetish. I think I've, I've, I've read that being used in that sense. And really? I was very confused. Because oh. I was like, huh? <laughs> what? That's, that's weird. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, don't know why, I don't know why it is free run that all the artists have chosen to... Uh, I think we've I think we've kind of grown up in an age now where like when it comes to the Dojin community, at least from how I observe it, mm -hmm. as someone who's, you know, followed it for a long time, like when you look back to like the two thousands or like the twenty tens, right? It was <coughs> the obvious Dojin bait shows that would get the most Dojin, right? Yeah, where it's yeah. the shows that were either just straight up sexualizing the characters in the original story or ones that kind of alluded to sexualizing the characters but didn't necessarily go all the way through. Yeah. Now I feel people again have played the reverse game where it's like they look at the obvious looted stuff or the ones that allude to it and they go no but that's too obvious the show is already doing it for us <laughs> so let's take the ones where the show doesn't even hint at it at all and give people what they might possibly want that they can't get from the original show and so i think that's why shows like free right now are getting more looted than other looter shows because like we never saw any dojins of like read off healer because the show was already doing it for a lot of people, right? Like, but free rent is also not- the characters are shit. Also the characters yeah. are shit, of course. <laughs> I, don't, but, I don't fucking feel anything, <laughs> yeah. they suck. But yeah. you know, that doesn't stop the fact that there were a lot of people who watched that show and were like, well, you know, the show is already going mm -hmm. all the way through. So yeah. Dojin artists were like, well, th there's no place for us. They've already done it for us. Whereas free rent is like, they look innocent, but they are aesthetically pleasing characters where if we put them in lewd positions, a lot of people might like it. I don't know. That's just my observation as a Dojin uh, professional. I think it's the implication, you know? Yeah. It's it, because, I don't know. It's it's weird because I- Does it ruin the show? I don't think it does. This isn't a complaint. I, no. This is not a complaint at all. This is this is merely just an observation. See, I don't know because like, I think I mentioned this in an earlier podcast episode, but like I can't read Dojins of shows I really enjoy. Oh yeah, you did mention yeah. that. So like Monogatari- you know, Couldn't be me. <laughs> Monogatari, like any of the shows that I grew up with, I can't read Dojins of it because it just ruins my perspective of the shows that I love so much. Rob Pokemon. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Speaking of fetish, <laughs> is there something you're telling us? Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> listen, listen. Are I, you a furry? I, no, no, I just wanted to see how you'd react. <laughs> <laughs> that, look, I, if you're into it, cool, but that ain't me. What about, I'm, I'm not into what it. What about Vaporeon? <laughs> did you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, just, I'm just curious. The God of War? No? Okay, no. Nah, nah. Love Bunny? No, no, no. Nah. Yeah. Um, Chancy. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be an interesting one. Oh my God. Where do you start? <laughs> oh, we're going to hell. Oh what, what are we talking about? I don't know. I just thought it was fucking dumb, but I just thought about it. But, but see, like that's why, like the Dojins, I always enjoyed reading were the shows that I had no personal connection to or affiliation to from the original show. So, like, yeah. I had no problems reading like or emo Dojins. <laughs> because I don't give a fuck about the original show or the original characters. <laughs> so so I don't saying, care what, what position they're putting. What you're in. saying is you- by Maybe you don't like the canonical breaks that the Dojin introduced That might be it, yeah. It kind of ruins the entire story. Yeah, I think okay. so. How do you go, have you guys ever read, I guess no. Dojin's like kind of like fan fiction? I've never read. I mean, or, yeah. Or kind of like fan, kind of like stories yeah. that have nothing to do with, let's say, you know, like hentai or anything, sure. but just literally just like, let's say a fan story. Yeah. Do you enjoy those at all? Have you ever had a point where you're like, damn, the canon story didn't give me everything I wanted to. And uh, I, I kind of went into like the fan territory. No, because no. I'm like, cause I also understand that that was that particular manga artist or, you know, writer's decision to do so. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I might not be satisfied with it, but you know, at the end of the day, I can just move on to something else as well. You yeah. know, like I'm not, I don't think I've ever read a series where it's been, that I've been so heavily invested into where I'm like, I want to see the best ending for this. And this is the exact ending that I envision. And I hope the artist or writer delivers. And then it'd be something completely different. Usually like with those kinds of stories I get heavily invested into, I'm satisfied with the way it ends yeah. in some regard. Yeah. And if there are ones where like, I'm not satisfied with it, then I'm just gonna go, well, you know, it wasn't exactly what I'd hoped for, but, I, I still enjoy the ride and you know, I can just move on to something else. Can you Google the most famous fan stories? I'd, I'd love to know examples of like, what are some really popular fan stories? 
Well, it wasn't like a, wasn't a, what was it? Yeah. Fifty Shades of Grey, right? Fifty Shades of Grey. It was, yeah, a, yeah, was yeah. a Twilight, Twilight fanfic. Fans, fans, fan fiction. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, I've done it twice. I've, I've, I- You've done it Wait, twice. what do you mean you've, you've done, done it? What do you mean you've done it? Um, in As term, in you've written one? No, not written one. <laughs> okay, but I was about to say. Like I, I guess, or? no, 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 like consumed, like some, oh, fan fan fan, some fan fiction out of some dissatisfaction to like a main like storyline. Well, which ones are there? Yeah, okay. uh, could you click the article? 10 successful books that- Yeah. Oh yeah, let's, let's check these out first. Okay. So 50 Shade, yeah, obviously. City of Bones, Love Hypothesis. I don't know any of these. Uh, okay. I do not know any of these either. And go, okay. Yeah, don't know that, don't know that. <laughs> I don't know any of these. Well, here's the thing. I don't think we're like the usual kind of like- I don't read. That's <laughs> 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 no, fair, yeah. that's fair. So, I mentioned like this book I was reading once on Trash Taste and I was nearly done with it. Oh, yeah. I had like, I had like, um, not, not, not like 40, 50 pages left in it. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, yeah, I'll talk about it when I'm done. And I just never fucking finished it. <laughs> I, this is like- Was you, it the Abroad in Japan book? No. <laughs> I, I haven't started yet. <laughs> but I was like, man, I, I I, think I just don't enjoy reading as much as I, I wish I did. A manga I enjoy, but even then I, I think yeah. I just- Too I, much. I, too I, much I, I don't really enjoy reading that much. I wish yeah. I did. That's fair. I wish That's I wish fair. I did. Cause I feel yeah. like- it's Why do you wish you did? Because it feels like such a, a vast, uh, a vast untapped source of knowledge. And mm. also like the world you can throw yourself into. Uh, so much more imaginative in novels and stories. And I yeah. wish I could kind of get into it, but sadly I can't. Fair. Yeah, like I was saying, you know, like I, there are two things that like stick out to my mind in terms of like fan fiction, mm. fan fictions, I guess. The first one, uh, I remember being, first time watching Evangelion, mm. being very, very dissatisfied with the ending. Right, the TV series <laughs> The ending. TV series yeah. ending and the end of, Ava with yeah. the ending as well. This is back in uh, my point where I like fucking hated Ava. Right. Uh, and I remember discovering this doujin, which I think is like the greatest doujin of all time mm. that I've ever read. It's called Retake. Okay. Where it's kind of like a reimagining of the Evangelion ending mm. that kind of like ties in all of, all of the plot points mm. uh, that's, cause you know, if you've seen Ava, you know that there's a different appeal to the end of Evangelion than let's say tying up all the plot points. Cause half the plot points just fucking they forget about, you know. Mm. Uh, but it gives. Before this was before like four point came out. It gives you like em, it gave you like em, it gave me emotional closure for all of the characters, right. which the original series didn't do. And do you think that's why Unknown made four point oh? He's like, I see all. I see people are very dissatisfied with the ending. I'm gonna make my own fan fiction of my own show. I don't think I know gives a shit. Four point oh. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like I feel like the entire rebuild was just his own fan fiction of it. Yeah, you know? pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. And I remember the second time I did this as well was the first time I'm reading Love Hina. <laughs> <laughs> where you're like, but what if, what if, what if, what if other girls had like a nice happy ending? Yeah. Uh, and that was the last time I, re I ever dipped my feet into the world of fan fictions. Okay, but to be fair, like there was one show, there was one manga series that I think did that in a really, really cool way. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was this manga called uh, Boktacho Binkyo Dikinai, like we mm -hmm. can't study or we can't yeah, learn or something yeah. like that. So they had a canonical like, one of the girls like, you know, getting the bag and mm. you know, that was like the end of like that harem. Yeah. But yeah. then the author did a giga brain move and he released one more volume where he gave a canonical ending to every single love interest so that everybody would be satisfied. Nah, he I phoned that's it. Cheating, nah, boss phoned it in. Bossman phoned it yeah, in. Yeah. Boss phoned it in, but that's he cheating. also gave everybody a satisfying ending mm. in, in one way or another. Yeah, and I he was like, you know what? On your I will not yeah. I will not let the Dojin <laughs> artist take the bag. I'm doing this myself, goddamn. Nah, we, we we need one winner in a harem anime or everyone's a winner, yeah, you know? Yeah, what is it? Fucking everyone. participation award? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Harem? Look, it didn't matter because my favorite girl won canonically, so I, I was satisfied with <laughs> it, but I was well, you like- You said all of them were canonical. Yeah. Well, technically they weren't. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. He was just okay. like, this This was like a what if scenario of like, he picked the other girls. Like he basically visual noveled it essentially. That just sounds like copium. It's oh, it was absolutely copium, <laughs> but I would also be huffing that same copium if I was him as well. You know, like, like, I can't believe you didn't pick this girl. I, I feel like I would be less invested in harem anime if I knew every girl was uh, going to have a happy ending. You know, mm. I, I feel like yeah. to me, the appeal of harem anime is knowing that one of these 
girls and going like to win. Like a football team. You pick a yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick a size. <laughs> yeah, harem anime is just like sports anime in disguise. Yeah, like it's It's, it's yeah. the closest that anime fans come to being toxic uh, sports fans. Yeah, basically. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 100%. Yeah. You know? That's why uh, that's But why at I the like same it. time, you're also calling out every fanfic writer as well in that sense then. Fan, I, I will happily say that I was in copium mode when yeah. I was just like, I just want to see different. <laughs> I, I, I just like, give me a crumb. Give me a crumb of cope right now. Because I, I, I do not God have just the- being like, I just want to see Oscar happy. That's all I care <laughs> about. And I don't care if I have to search through the deep crap of Why fanfiction.net to find that shit. Why the fuck did you have to call me out? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh God. I know, I know you all, John. I know you all. I did not oh, need to no, be called out like that. <laughs>